Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about frequency tables and the measurements that are represented in a frequency table. So when we're talking about frequency tables, this is only for categorical data. And also another thing is that all of the measurements in here are the numeric summaries for categorical data. So remember that numeric summaries are a type of descriptive statistic. And remember that categorical data puts items into groups or category names. So here we're looking at nicest fruit the first column is the first numeric summary, which is frequencies. And we talked about in previous videos how a frequency is a synonym for count or the number in each group. So those always have to be whole numbers. So whenever you have a frequency because you're counting how many are in each group, it would be a whole number because you can't have half of a person in a group. And then relative frequency is going to be the frequency relative to the total. That's how it gets its name. And so the numerator is the frequency and then the denominator is the total. So they're very easy to calculate here for banana. I would just have 10 out of the 145. Now you can see in the cells above that I actually uh, calculated it all the way out to a decimal value. You can have it as a fraction or a decimal. Um, here we have 25 out of the 145. So I could carry that out to the decimal value, which would be 0.724. And then I have blueberries, so 40. That's the frequency relative to the total of 145. And again, if I carried it out to a decimal value and did that division, I would come up with 0.2759. Now the reason that I'm doing this and carrying it out to the decimal value is because when I transition into the next numeric summary percent, I actually um, am just gonna multiply that decimal value by 100. So for the very last one, we have grape, which is five out of the 145. And if I carried that out to the decimal value, I would have 0 0.0345. So remember that with these, because a relative frequency is going to be all of the counts relative to the total, the sum of this column would end up being 145 out of 145, or it should sum to one. It's a good way for you to check to make sure that you have all the observations. And now here in the percent column, again, all I'm gonna do is multiply each of these by 100. So if I carry this decimal value out for the banana cell, it came out to be 0 0.069, and you can check that work if you don't believe me. And we have 6.9% then. So here, if I multiply this by 100, remember you're just moving the decimal value. And so here we would have 17.24%. Again, you move the decimal two places, so I have 0.2759%. And then here, if I multiply this by 100, I'm moving it two places, so I have 3.45%. So again, this column, because of the way that these uh, measurements work, this should always sum to 100%, just like this would sum to one because this is the total of 145. So one thing about uh, categorical data, and so these are the numeric summaries for it, but specifically when you're talking about this relative frequency column with categorical data, because the differences are so small, you wanna make sure you go out at least four decimal places rounding correctly. So you can see for each of these, I went out four decimal places. That's what's necessary for you to be able to see the differences that we identify with categorical data. So in the next videos, we'll do more descriptive statistics, but instead of the numeric summaries, we'll talk about graphical displays. So I'll see you then.